guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting day because I have a breakfast recipe for you. And I know that breakfast is usually something a lot of people skip because not everybody has time to wake up early and make breakfast every single day. So today I'm gonna share with you a simple, quick and easy meal prep recipe that takes no time to prepare. And it's something that you can store in the fridge or in the freezer for weeks on end and you can take them to go whenever you need. So. Without further ado, let's get into the recipe. <sighs> I forgot to tell you guys, I am going to show you three different ways you can make egg muffins. So now let's get into it, for real. So all the recipes are going to start off with the same base and I have 12 eggs here, a little bit of salt, pepper, and ground turmeric. We'll start by cracking all of the eggs into a large bowl and then season it with some salt and pepper which I usually just eyeball. Also add in a dash of ground turmeric which is going to give us some health benefits such as its anti-inflammatory properties and it's going to give the eggs a nice yellow color but the amount we're adding will just give it a very subtle flavor. Whisk this up and then set it aside. The first recipe is a spinach and tomato egg muffin and I love this because it's so quick and easy to make. And I should mention that the ingredients listed for each recipe are for 12 eggs. This one doesn't require a lot of prep work. All we have to do is give the spinach a rough chop and then set it aside. For the tomatoes, it's also super easy. Just cut them in half and then set them to the side as well. I'll show you how to prep each recipe first and then we'll assemble. The next one is a turkey and bell pepper egg muffin. And I used half a yellow and half a red bell pepper just to add more color. But if you only have one or the other, you can just use one whole one. This one also doesn't need a lot of prep. All you have to do is chop up the bell peppers into tiny little pieces and then set them aside. And do the same with your turkey slices. You can also sub for ham or other deli if you would like and then set that aside as well. The last one is a caramelized mushroom and onion egg muffin. This one is really good and savory but it is gonna require a little bit more prep work. So we're gonna heat up about a tablespoon of olive oil over medium heat. And my grade nine foods teacher taught me a trick to test if the pan is hot enough. You just sprinkle some water on it and if it sizzles, then it's hot enough. Then to the pan, add in all of the onions as well as the mushrooms. And we're gonna cook this on medium heat for about 10 to 15 minutes until the onions and the mushrooms turn a nice golden brown color and they become nice and caramelized. When they're done, just let the mixture cool for a little bit before you assemble. For this recipe, I'm gonna be using a muffin tin. Um, the one I have has 12 little muffin cups, which is perfect for the number of eggs that I use in the recipe. But if you don't have one of these, you can definitely use one of these baking trays or like Pyrexes. And you can just put the egg mixture with all the ingredients in here, bake it, and then cut it up into equal portions. But I do recommend that you get one of these because it just makes it a little bit easier. All the portion sizes are the same. And you can make a lot of good food in this. But you know, gotta do what you gotta do. Now it's time to assemble, starting with the spinach and tomato egg muffins. We're gonna portion out the tomatoes into each cup as well as the spinach. And then we're gonna top it with some feta cheese. For the turkey and bell pepper egg muffins, we're gonna do the exact same thing by portioning out the bell peppers and the turkey slices into each muffin cup. And then we're gonna top it with some cheddar cheese. Lastly, for the caramelized mushroom and onion egg muffins, we're gonna do the same thing and scoop the mixture into each of the muffin tins. And then we're gonna top it off with some feta cheese. And again, if you follow the quantities I gave in the video, each recipe will fill up one muffin tin. 
All that's left to do is to spoon the egg mixture into each cup and we're gonna fill this almost all the way to the top. We wanna leave a little little bit of space because they do puff up in the oven. Then bake in a 350 degree oven for 15 to 20 minutes. And there you have it, three ways to make egg muffins. Easy as that. Make sure they're completely cool before you take them out of the pan and you can store them in the fridge for about four days and about three months in the freezer. And just reheat before eating. So these are the perfect breakfasts because they have protein, carbs, and fat all in one bite. And I hope that these recipes are able to help you save some time, help you meal prep so that you never have to skip breakfast again. So as usual, comment down below if you liked any of the recipes, like this video if you liked it, and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! That should be good.